Arosha is really privileged to host the European Creation Care Conference here at the Le Cormet Centre in the south of France, one of Arosha France's centres. And this is actually the eighth in a series of regional conferences on creation care held around the world under the auspices of the Lausanne Movement and the World Evangelical Alliance in partnership with Arosha and with Care of Creation. I've been able to attend all but one of the regional conferences and uh, it's interesting how each one has been different. One of the special things about this European conference was the real sense of integration between the, the venue, the location in a beautiful place uh, with a Christian community at the heart of it, with worship conducted by local Christians and with absolutely fantastic vegetarian and vegan food, uh, all from locally sourced ingredients wherever possible. And, and that really helped our reflections on the theology of creation and on some of the problems that we face environmentally worldwide, help them have a, a focus of worship and of nurture in God's creation. So that was really, really special. We were also really blessed to have uh, some absolutely superb speakers um, here at this European conference, including uh, Dr. Chris Wright, who heads up Langham Partnership International, um, treading in John Stott's shoes, who spoke to us wonderfully on the biblical basis for creation care. Is that creation is valued by God for itself. Creation is intrinsically good. We also had uh, Dr. Rosalie Veloso Ewell, um, who is of Brazilian-American background and who uh, heads up the World Evangelical Alliance Theological Commission. This work, this redemption, includes especially the redemption of the discarded. Discarded things, discarded people. And we had uh, Dr. Deepa Senapati, originally from India, now based in the UK, talking about biodiversity and the risks. And that this age of extinction has been greater, has been more ferocious, and there's been a loss of a greater number of species than ever seen before. Uh, then we had Ruth Valerio, formerly from Arusha, UK, now with Tear Fund, speaking about lifestyle and our impact as consumers. If we're going to break it down into the four biggest areas, then we're thinking about our food, our travel, our waste, including plastic, which is a biggie, and our energy. We had climate scientists from Spain and from Switzerland, uh, and all together we just had the most outstanding range of expertise amongst the delegates and the speakers at the conference. Another thing that was unusual about this conference and really special uh, was an interactive resilience game that we had one evening. Whereas most of the, the talks inevitably go to the head. This was something that really touched the heart uh, because all of us were put in the position of people in the developing world living with the impacts of climate change and of natural disasters. And it was hugely powerful. It was somewhat disturbing at times to be in that, in that resilience game. And that was wonderfully conducted um, by a German Christian, Judith Geber, uh, from the MICA network in Germany. Holding this conference in Europe, where we have quite a number of Arosha organizations, uh, it was really special to have them involved in the conference in different ways. And so we had contributions from Arosha Portugal, Arosha Netherlands, Arosha UK, obviously Arosha France, who were our hosts, and even remotely by video link from Arosha Finland. And so it was lovely to have leaders from each of those countries present and highly involved in the conference in different ways. Quite a number of the delegates at the conference shared how previously they'd felt very isolated in their churches and sometimes in their professional situation as Christians caring about the environment and creation and how this conference had really helped build a sense of fellowship and community. And on the final day we were able to have a session where each national group shared about their hopes and plans for the future. and birds and creeping things, fruit trees and grain, and flowers of the field. To you will be glory and praise forever. And then when we broke bread and shared wine and talked about uh, Jesus as the saviour of the whole world, uh, and how just like the bread and wine are the fruits of creation but get broken and poured out, 
So sometimes that's what it feels like being involved in creation care. And it, it was a really powerful experience. Quite a number of people were in tears uh, and there was a, a deep sense of recommitment at the end of that session as everyone was invited to come and sign a pledge uh, with some commitments to creation care that we'd all agreed on uh, under the Lausanne theme. Uh, and that was a really powerful experience, I think, for a lot of the people there. Now that we've held eight of these conferences, we're already looking ahead to regions that we haven't yet been able to reach. And in 2018, we plan to hold a conference for Southern Africa in February, uh, hosted by Arosha, South Africa, just outside Peter Maritzburg, where African Enterprise have a center. And then later in April, a conference for the Pacific region uh, where Arosha Australia will be the hosts at their Tali Centre and Arosha New Zealand are also heavily involved in the planning for that. So there was a, a sense right from the first to the last day of the conference that, that God had gone ahead of us uh, and that he had his hand on this conference. It was a really special time together.